Tennessee and Minnesota have mirror records. One seven and two. One is two and seven. This breakdown is brought to you by Captain Morgan. And here's a fun fact about the Tennessee Titans this year. If you're a Titans fan, it's not fun. They have allowed 28 scores on all 28 opponent red zone drives. Only team in the NFL with 100% you can score now percentage. So that's not good. They're looking to end that right here, right now. Second and goal. They go to the corner and he can't corral it. 39 is going to take all the credit. Yep, that's me. That's me. Doesn't matter that it's in his hands. Totally catchable. And he dropped it. That's me. Then they try to run it in. Boom. Brick wall. Stopped. Are they going to do it? Yep. We're holding them. It's fourth and goal. They could have gone for the field goal here and easily it would have been 29 out of 29 times. But they're saying no. We'll test our luck and go for the touchdown. Fourth and goal, Tennessee. You just got to stop them. You just got to stop them. And it's it's not 100% anymore. They did. Oh, ooh, double flag. What for? What for? Come in. Also foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 44. That should not be. Oh, man. Unnecessary roughness. They, did they think he hit him in the head? Is that what they saw? Because because the defender left his feet, maybe? The announcers did not think this should have been called. His helmet hits the ball first, which actually breaks up the catch. And then his shoulder and his head go into the guy's chest. He does get roughed up. Was it necessary? Seems like it. That's a weird way. No, probably not, but it's clean, right? Anyway, the coach, not happy about it. He says, right in the chest. You guys have been fucking terrible. It comes back, and there was some conversation in the middle, and then he said, and nobody calls. I told Perry. I told Perry. That is fucking ridiculous. So I... I told Perry, I told Perry, I actually went on Twitter and I said, guys, I cannot figure this out. I thought it looked like he was saying, I told Barry, but there's no Barry's. None of the officials name are Barry. None of the officials names are Perry. I went to Twitter and I said, guys, help me out. Make me, make me feel dumb and get this right away. And Michael Casper said, others have already said it, but I think it's, I told Perry. Perry being NFL ops SVP, Perry fuel he handles outreach to the league's head of head coaches and general managers so i looked up our guy perry and he currently serves as the senior vice president of officiating administration for the national football league's officiating department and is incredibly soft i think that's i think i screenshotted this <laughs> I didn't realize that. It, I, I just, Ron Burgundy just read. I didn't realize it said that at the end. Sorry, Perry. I didn't mean to shots fired at you. Someone else wrote that. I just read it. I screenshotted it before it got corrected, I guess. So I think the conversation we don't see is I've been complaining about this. I've been complaining about this and nobody calls. Like I've been trying to reach out and hear about this and nobody calls. Maybe that's what he's saying. And then he's saying, I told Perry, like I told on you guys already. I told him this was a problem. I told him you guys were botching this. It's an issue. So thank you to Michael Casper and to Perry. And if you really slow it down, you can really see that he does not hit him in the head. And, and again, maybe it's the leaving of his feet that got the call and not the head-to-head -head contact. By the rules and what everyone says is a clean hit, it's under the shoulder pads, hit him in the body, which he does. You know, he's below his shoulders. He does not hit him in the head. He might come up and they might hit heads afterwards right there, but that's more so the guy falling and him standing up, not really part of the hit. And he does get really dropped. Like it looks like it didn't need all of that. Anyway, the coach is about to get a flag on him and now he's yelling at the head official, Cletus is his name. And he says, hey, Cletus, Get the fuck over here at least. Then you should let me. That's fucking horse shit.
He's not happy about it. Love the spit coming out of shit. Oh, yeah. And I think when he was yelling at Cletus, he's saying, come come, talk, tell me. You haven't even talked to me yet. You're about to flag me. You won't even talk to me. Like I think he's saying, get over here at least. Then you should let me know. You know, Let me know what's going on. So he comes over there. They have a quick talk. It's, uh, it's blocked a lot, but he does end up getting a penalty. Half the distance to go on first down on the Tennessee coach. And Minnesota is then able to QB sneak it and run in. And now it's 29 out of 20 times. He says, no, no, no. Tell him, tell him stripes. He, we stopped him and they come in and they say, nah, touchdown. And then they get the extra point. Psych. They don't get the extra point. You all got tricked by me right there. He's not happy. Fans are happy. Yay. Look where we are. This breakdown was brought to you by Captain Morgan, the official spiced rum of the NFL. Every NFL season creates new legends both on and off the field. And when you and your crew follow the captain, any story can become legendary. So go to followthecaptain.com and begin your adventure. Please drink responsibly. Captain Morgan original spiced rum, 35% alcohol by volume. Captain Morgan Rum Company, New York, New York.